A night to remember, Caleb. Hi, I'm Caleb and I'm working the night shift as a janitor in this big office building. It's dead quiet, with only the hum of the fluorescent lights and the occasional creak of the floors. But little did I know, that night was about to take a turn for the downright creepy. As I made my rounds, mopping floors and emptying trash cans, I couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. The shadows seemed to dance around me, and every corner I turned felt like stepping into a scene from a horror movie. Then, I heard it, a faint whisper echoing through the empty corridors. At first, I thought it was just the building settling, but there was something off about it. It sounded like someone calling my name, soft and distant. I brushed it off as my imagination running wild and continued my work. But as the night wore on, the whispers grew louder, more insistent. It was like someone, or something, was trying to get my attention. Feeling a chill creep down my spine, I followed the sound of the whispers to the basement. Now, let me tell you, the basement was the last place I wanted to be alone at night. It was dark, damp, and gave off major creepy vibes. As I descended the stairs, the whispers grew louder, and I could make out faint shadows moving in the darkness. My heart pounded in my chest as I reached the bottom, unsure of what I would find. That's when I saw her, a ghostly figure standing in the corner, her eyes hollow and filled with sorrow. She was dressed in old-fashioned clothes, like something out of a bygone era. I tried to speak, but my voice caught in my throat. The figure beckoned me closer, and against my better judgment, I took a step forward. That's when I noticed the flickering light of a lantern beside her, casting eerie shadows on the walls. With a trembling hand, I reached out to touch her, but she disappeared before my eyes, leaving me standing alone in the darkness. The whispers faded away, replaced by the sound of my own ragged breathing. I wasted no time getting out of there, practically sprinting up the stairs and out into the night. As I left the building behind, I couldn't shake the feeling of unease that lingered in the pit of my stomach. From that night on, I avoided the basement like the plague, sticking to the well-lit corridors and avoiding the shadows at all costs. The memory of that ghostly encounter still sends shivers down my spine, a chilling reminder that sometimes, the things that go bump in the night are all too real. So, I took up this part-time gig at a convenience store during my college days. Seemed like a decent job, stock shelves, handle the cash register, you know, the usual. Little did I know, this store had a history, a creepy vibe that made the night shifts a whole different story. The place was an old building, creaky floors and flickering fluorescent lights. My first night, the manager warned me about strange occurrences after hours, but I thought it was just some spooky story to mess with the new guy. It started innocently enough, shelves randomly getting restocked, lights flickering for no reason, things you could write off as the quirks of an old store. But then, one night, I was doing my thing at the cash register when I heard footsteps in the empty aisles. Clear as day, like someone pacing back and forth. I figured it was another employee, but when I checked, there was no one there. Creepy, right? The footsteps kept going, like an invisible customer browsing the aisles. I told myself it was my imagination playing tricks. As the weeks passed, more bizarre stuff happened. Items flying off the shelves, the cash register opening by itself, classic haunted convenience store stuff. I thought maybe it was just faulty equipment, but deep down, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. One night, I was counting the inventory in the back room when I heard a soft voice whispering my name. I froze, thinking it was a co-worker messing with me. But the voice wasn't coming from outside, it was right behind me. I turned around, and there was no one there, just an eerie silence hanging in the air. The feeling of being watched became a constant companion during my shifts. Shelves would rattle, and I'd catch glimpses of shadowy figures in the security cameras. The chill down my spine told me it wasn't just my imagination anymore. One particularly stormy night, things took a turn for the worse. The power went out, leaving the store in complete darkness. I grabbed a flashlight and started making my way to the circuit breaker, but that's when I heard the laughter. It echoed through the aisles, a chilling sound that didn't belong in an empty store. I followed the laughter, flashlight trembling in my hand. 
It led me to the back room, where the whispers grew louder. I felt a cold breeze, even though the windows were closed. In the dim light of the flashlight, I saw shelves shaking, products flying off, and a figure standing at the end of the aisle. It was a silhouette, indistinct yet haunting. The laughter reached a crescendo, and I booked it out of there, leaving the creepy store behind. I quit that part-time job the next day, convinced that place was haunted or something. The convenience store, once a routine job, became a tale of mysterious voices, unseen figures, and unexplained laughter. Some places hold secrets, and that store, with its flickering lights and ghostly encounters, was one I wasn't sticking around to uncover. So this one time I took on a night shift job at the hospital. You know, filing papers, keeping an eye on things, pretty routine stuff. But little did I know, the hospital had a side that only came alive when the lights went down. It was around midnight when things started to get weird. The usual hum of the hospital machinery felt different, like there was an underlying tension in the air. I shook it off, thinking it was just my imagination playing tricks in the darkness. As I made my way down the empty hallways, I heard faint whispers. At first, I thought it was the wind or some distant conversation, but there was something off about it. The whispers seemed to echo from the abandoned wing of the hospital, a part that had been closed off for years. Curiosity got the better of me, and I decided to check it out. The closer I got, the colder it became, and the whispers grew more distinct. It was like hushed voices telling secrets that I wasn't supposed to hear. As I reached the entrance of the abandoned wing, the atmosphere changed. The air was heavy with a strange energy, and the flickering lights cast eerie shadows on the walls. I could feel eyes on me, even though the place was supposed to be empty. Suddenly, a door creaked open, revealing a dark hospital room. I hesitated but stepped inside, and that's when I saw it, a figure standing in the corner. It was a nurse, dressed in an old-fashioned uniform that seemed out of place. She had this distant look in her eyes, like she was lost in time. I asked if she needed help, but she didn't respond. Instead, she just pointed towards the window. When I turned to look, I saw flickering lights in the distance, like old lanterns dancing in the night. The nurse's voice echoed, telling a story about patients from decades ago who had never left the hospital, their spirits lingering in the quiet corners. Chills ran down my spine as I realized I was witnessing something beyond the ordinary. The nurse faded away, leaving me alone in the dimly lit room. As I left the abandoned wing, the whispers trailed off, and the temperature returned to normal. The rest of the night passed without any more encounters, but the memory of that eerie moment stayed with me. It was like the hospital had a hidden side, a place where the past and present intertwined in a haunting dance during the silent hours of the night. If you're enjoying the spine-chilling narratives we bring to you, don't forget to show your support by smashing that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to stay updated on all things creepy and mysterious. We've got a lot more nightmares to share, and we want you along for the ride.